Hello folks, this is Andrew Natto from Stonehearth Capital Management here with an educational economic update for May 2021. In this month's video, we'll discuss some recent headlines to influence the financial markets in April. I will also provide some perspective on what these developments may mean in the months ahead. Please stay tuned at the end of this video for a required disclosure statement. Stocks climbed higher in April on the heels of strong first quarter earnings reports as well as encouraging economic data. Vaccine distribution also continued to increase as several states relaxed COVID-related restrictions. U.S. equity indices posted solid monthly gains in April, led by the NASDAQ, which was up 5.4%, followed closely by the S&P 500 up 5.24%, and the Dow also eked out a modest gain of 2.71%. Employment data helped boost confidence that the economy is on the right track in April, as nearly 1 million new jobs were added while the number of jobless claims decreased. The unemployment rate also took down slightly to 6%, which is considerably lower from its April 2020 high, but is still 2.5% above its pre-pandemic low. First quarter GDP data was also released in April, which showed the U.S. economy accelerated at an annual rate of 6.4% in the first three months of 2021, after advancing 4.3% in the fourth quarter of 2020. Stimulus checks hitting bank accounts certainly helped fuel consumer spending, which increased 10.7% in the first quarter compared to 2.3% in the fourth quarter of 2020. While recent COVID-19 flare-ups in places like India present a worry, vaccination in the United States continued in April at a rapid pace. By the end of the month, nearly 30% of the population was vaccinated, with nearly 100 million Americans having received their second dose. This has given lawmakers around the country the confidence to continue to ease restrictions and begin a presumptive return to normal. May should hopefully see a continued recovery for the economy. As more people are fully vaccinated, the number of COVID-19 cases should continue to decline. The further easing of state-mandated measures should also help those businesses hit the hardest, such as restaurants and airlines, which are expected to see a significant uptick in activity as we head into the summer months. That's it for this month's Educational Economic Update. Once again, this is Andrew Natto with Stonehearth Capital Management signing off for the month of May 2021. Please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you would like to discuss your personal, financial situation, please give us a call at 978-624-3000. We'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you.